in today's video we're going to be answering the question of how good is mario in mario kart 8 deluxe and it's kind of funny because i feel like typically mario is a very average character even though he is the mascot it literally is his game it is mario kart 8 deluxe it's not luigi kart 8 deluxe it's not yoshi kart 8 deluxe and on top of that i feel like in this game specifically Mario is basically never used as well like I feel like he's kind of seen as the default character the most basic character if you will and people just generally avoid using him for that reason I'm gonna go ahead and showcase some of my favorite Mario combos and you guys can I guess decide for yourself I'll decide as well if Mario is really any good in this game and now we are playing on DK Mountain here for the first race I think I just got comboed out I was kind of not really paying attention but yeah, we're rocking one of my favorite, and I got the three tricks. Actually, I hate to interrupt myself, but I've been working on that recently, trying to get the three tricks on the bridge. It is super satisfying when you can make that happen. But yeah, first Mario combo, probably my favorite out of them all. It is the pipe frame, one of my favorite vehicles. The red rollers and the paper glider. Probably one of the best Mario builds in my opinion as well. It feels super great to play as. And now this combo has, I believe, five mini turbo and three speed. So it kind of hits that threshold of, you know, having eight combined speed and mini turbo, which is super important. Really not sacrificing too much. And I guess the main important thing about the Mario weight class, which by the way, Mario, Ludwig, and Medium Me share the same stats. Also, what are my lines? Where am I going? That shock was really weird. I think it kind of helped though. But yeah, Ludwig, Medium Me, Mario all share the same stats. And they're very similar to the Yoshi character class, which makes Mario very viable in my opinion as you basically lose mini turbo acceleration and traction, but you gain speed, weight, and invincibility. So I think it's a little bit worse because of course mini turbo is the best stat in the game, but it's certainly extremely viable. And hopefully I can prove to you guys in today's video. And hopefully we can make the comeback. I've been kind of hovering in the pack here, kind of not really worried about what's going on in the race as I normally do when I'm commentating in the early races of a video. Um, what was that? I guess that hop kind of works. We almost get starred of Waluigi Wiggler. Everyone has a star around me. I try to make the shortcut work there. Uh, and maybe we can pass someone. Probably not at the end. That's a banana. And I will hop and do a sixth place for the first race. We're back with Animal Crossing, the winter version. I feel like I almost never play this version for the next race. Let's go ahead and burn out for fun and maybe do some bagging. I'm surprised to see how many people are bagging this track. I normally don't myself. Of course, I feel like it's somewhere in the middle on the whole bagging versus running list, spectrum, whatever you want to call it. And this is a pretty stacked room. I've been saying that like every video, but I feel like as I'm approaching 30,000 VR, I'm at like 28,000 in a bit right now. I keep finding more and more stacked rooms and they are just so much fun to play in. And there's a lot of VR to be gained as well. Uh, but I'm not sure if I mentioned it last race, but on top of the speed acceleration trade-off that also affects all the secondary speed and secondary acceleration stats as well so you know you have your underwater speed your anti-gravity speed and handling as well as your air speed and handling but i don't really think those are as important i know a couple tracks specifically do have large underwater sections like prana plant cove uh air speed and air handling really isn't as important and the other one, any gravity is kind of a weird one because when this game came out, basically every course had some sort of anti-gravity gimmick. Of course, that is the gimmick of this game, right? You had like gliders back in Mario Kart 7, Mario Kart Wii had your bikes, you know, wheelies inside drift, Mario Kart Double Dash, you had the two racers, the chaos. This game, it was all about anti-gravity, but I feel like Nintendo kind of neglected that with the booster course pass. And there are just... Also, I avoided everyone, but I was still in the ghost. For some reason, I thought the ghost had already ended there. So that was kind of pointless. But yeah, for some reason, Nintendo kind of neglected the whole anti-gravity thing for the booster course pass. And now there's like almost no courses that have any anti-gravity. So I feel like it's definitely an overrated stat, at least in my opinion. Once again, we're in the back at the end of the race. We need something good to make the comeback. We're in 8th place, though. That's not a good sign. And we do get a classic 8th place box. And I'm going to completely throw. We almost got hit by fire there anyways. So yeah, another pretty tragic race. And this time, it's a 10th place. And we're back, Moonview Highway. I just kind of think about how maybe my commentary sometimes, you know, is to my detriment in terms of how well I do. 
Maybe I'll try to focus up a little bit more, try to get a good race as I completely whiff the beginning. No surprise there. Surprisingly, no one hit that bomb car though. I feel like in Worldwide with the online lag, someone always triggers that specific bomb car at the start of the race. Uh, but yeah, I somehow only get minus 12 for 10th last race because I'm actually the third lowest rated player. I'm at 28.4 thousand VR. And there's only two players ranked below me, which is pretty crazy. Hopefully as I continue to get more VR, this is kind of the norm. That would be amazing if I could always get really stacked rooms like this. Uh, but they're definitely tough, as you guys have seen. Like, I've been struggling to kind of break through in the pack. I basically get up to a middle spot and then get taken out or something goes wrong. Or maybe I just completely throw because I'm too worried about my commentary. Did we get the snipe? No, we didn't. Can we snipe them that time? We missed. That's a bomb car. How did I not hit the bomb car? That was some really close driving. Get the double. That's a really good pull for fourth place. That's fire. Let's go around them. And we can go ahead and maybe back them. Yeah, we got them as they're trying to fire me there. And I probably should have held that last green as that red shell's coming for me. But I guess there were a couple red shells. I don't know if that really would have mattered. There are bomb going off. Green shells everywhere. This is so much chaos. And we'll see what happens. You know, this is a good front running track. And oh no, I thought my bananas would protect me. I always forget that triple bananas, triple protection are pretty useless most of the time. And you kind of have to make sure you like go out of your way to drop it when there's like a red shell or something about to hit you. And yeah, we're just going to get started. I basically drove into them. I have no coins. We are in a terrible spot. First is gone. I should be able to get a really good pull here, though. And of course, it is a golden mushroom. I've been pulling a lot of goldens, I feel like, already this video. And that's not going to help me at all. I'm going to spam this star in case they have a shock after their bullet bill. No, they have a crazy eight. Yeah, we really did need a shock there if we wanted to come back. So we really have our work cut out for us to get some good VR gains. As yeah, I'm going to get last place. No catching up on this track at the end without a shock. And yeah, not a great race. Sunshine Airport. And on top of maybe trying to focus up a little bit more, I also want to just get better at being more defensive. I feel like in general, I just prefer to try to, you know, go for the snipes, go for the crazy play, play a little bit more aggressive because it's just simply more fun to do that in this game. Uh, but a lot of the time it is to your detriment. It's just a more um, degree or a higher degree of risk rather, you know, more variability in what position you'll get. Whereas if you play defensive, you can more or more or less guarantee to get like a decent spot or at least a little bit better on average, maybe. I don't know if it's actually better or not, but it feels like it's a little bit more stable, I guess. And yeah, a little bit too close to that player running Electro actually off the track. But not a great way to start this race. I have no coins once again. And yeah, we're just gonna play it safe, play it easy here, try to get some coins, try to slowly but surely catch up and not be too aggressive. I don't want to fall too far behind on this track. Anyways, it is Sunshine Airport. Definitely more of a front-running track. We can see how we can do. Mario, so far, has really not been as good as I thought he would be. But I think it's more just, you know, the races themselves, the circumstances, a little bit of my driving as well. And can we get a shock dodge? We have yet to get one as well. Maybe we have a chance to get one later. Actually, no, I'm in sixth place. I don't think I'll be able to. What I'm going to do here is just keep it inside. Hopefully this player doesn't hit me. Yeah, that banana is just going to basically go right through me because I was way too close to them. We can just get one box. Okay, we get single shroom. Not great. That player's a red shell. Let's just go really wide so they can pass me on the little shortcut there, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know where they're going. Okay, they're there. Okay, they actually got rid of the red shells. That was worthwhile, I think. And I'll hold the shroom this time for the shortcut. I actually do get another one though, which is nice. But we are at the front of the pack, but not really close enough to the front because yeah, everyone behind me is basically pulling power items. I want to trim up, get away from that star, hopefully. And blue is out. Let's go really wide for that. And once again, yeah, I'm just going to take it inside here, try to get a single box and just play it safe. Not try to fight for the double box. Hopefully get something good here. We get the boomerang. Those are greens. Let's go ahead and back it so we don't get hit. Gotta watch out for this red being backed. And yeah, I played more defensive. I wasn't too aggressive. And we secure the fourth. Just what I was talking about. Finally, a decent spot. And with this new race, we also have a new combo. Switching over to Mr. Scooty. As you guys know, been in the meta recently. A lot of people are using it. This key chat player ahead of me is rocking Mr. Scooty. And a lot of people do think that this is kind of a good pairing with Mario and Mario's character class. Just because of the fact that Mario's a little bit heavier than Yoshi, just slightly heavier, and Mr. Scooty's just slightly lighter than the Teddy Buggy uh, vehicle class, not character class. So it kind of evens out. So if you're looking for like a Yoshi Teddy, you know, substitution alternative, this might be a good pick. 
I just really, of course, like Mr. Scooty. And like I said earlier, there's really not much of a difference with the Yoshi and Mario character classes anyways. So I feel like it kind of fits in well and it's an easy trade to make. And wow, that green just broke my red somehow, even though it wasn't even close. But yeah, already it feels pretty good. We can watch it for this fire. And of course with Mr. Scooty, you do want to kind of crank out more mini turbos if you can constantly, as that is really the strong suit with Mr. Scooty and the Bitty Buggy. That really high mini turbo stat. I'm going to burn these shrooms so we can get up to the top, just barely making it. Uh, but yeah, we're in third. We're chilling for now. Do I want to hold this shroom for the ending shortcut? I think that's worthwhile. Since this player has shrooms ahead of me, I don't really need to red them out or anything just yet. But yeah, we are chilling. I only have five coins though, but I feel like so far this race has gone better than like 90% of the video. As I've just been getting kind of stuck in the pack. But I feel like now that we've kind of settled in, I'm warmed up a little bit. And I'm less worried about my commentary. I feel like a lot more comfortable. Also, what was that? I definitely thought I was going to go way more to the right there. I think I caught like a little bit of air there on that drift. A little bit unfortunate. You kind of get pockets of air. I know that's a big problem on the DK Summit shortcut. The double cut. If you kind of drift and hop too late, you can get like a big air pocket and you'll just go flying. And that's oftentimes how people fail it. I'm going to go for the single. I'm going to play it safe. We get the triple shrooms. Not a bad pull. Watch it for that green shell. I'm going to watch it for these triple bananas ahead of me. So I think I'm going to go really wide here. And watch out. Oh, that player's going to take the double. Okay, they actually didn't. Maybe they lagged through it. But I just took the safe route and braked a little bit there. Anyways, got to watch out for these greens. There's so many items. There's a bill. I want to be on the other side of the track so that I can take the shortcut without getting hit by the bill. The blue shell. And I'll get a seventh. Not really what I was hoping for. What a crazy race. We're back. One of my favorite courses in the game. Hyrule Circuit. Let's see if we can have a good race. We're kind of slowly but surely moving up in terms of our average finish in the races so hopefully as this video goes on you know i keep trending upwards uh and get a good race starting with hyrule circuit here like i said one of my favorite courses i feel like i know how to drive this track better than most and by that i mean most tracks not most people uh, but i feel like i'm pretty good at this track nonetheless but yeah we're gonna go for the shroomless cut and this player in first is already completely gone I don't know how, maybe they just have 10 coins already. Um, but we're going to hopefully keep up with them. Yeah, they are just flying right now, it looks like. They are just completely gone. Huge lead already. Going for the mini turbo trick here. I will as well. And we have the red shell. We can probably just chain into the next set. But like I said, play it safe. Play it more safe than I was earlier, at least. Maybe we can, like, back someone here. Go ahead and throw the red fort. Yeah, I think I actually did get that Yoshi. And oh, I actually forgot you always hit those spin boosters in the middle of the course on this track when you throw a red shell in that section. A little bit unfortunate, but that's just something I think I need to remember. And while that was perfect timing, I had to kind of let go of A a little bit there and slow down to not get by the blue blast. But yeah, we are in a great spot. And I think I'm going to go for shortcut here. Maybe unconventional, but the fact that the blue just happened and we can get a bit of a lead. And wow, I pull protection. That is a perfect pull. I was kind of worried about maybe getting redded here before the next set. But yeah, we're actually in a really good spot with that pull as well. And go for the shroomless cut at the end. There could still be a shock. Knock on what I'm definitely going to jinx myself. Why did I say that? I just like spoke it into existence by saying that. Huge mistake. That's just how this game works. We're going to take a super safe shortcut. I completely threw though. I went really wide. And we're going to get bumped off the course. They completely bumped me off my line into the wall. That is brutal. Uh, but I can still salvage a third place, probably the best race yet, so I will take it. And we're back, this time Sky Garden. I think that last race was a really good example about how sometimes in this game, you know, your own doing can kind of lead to your demise or lead to quote-unquote bad luck. As, you know, if I didn't fail that ending shortcut, I probably wouldn't have got bumped and I probably would have been able to hold a higher position. Uh, but because I messed up in the first place, that is kind of what led me down that path. I feel like you kind of see that happen a lot when basically I always like to say, you know, when it rains, it pours. You can get comboed very easily in this game. But a lot of it just kind of starts with you doing something bad, maybe making a small mistake, and then it really snowballs and builds up. Yeah, fortunately for me, though, that was only a first to a third place. So I definitely can't complain. I'm still surprised that there was no shock. Normally when I say something like that in a video or on stream, that just like speaks it into existence. So I'm definitely happy about that or... I think that was like our first podium spot of the video and oh no i went right through the box was there like a ghost or something so that player ahead of me i thought i could beat but i didn't i have no coins i'm in a terrible spot i think i've just been slowly getting hit here 
And yeah, I'll just let these players pass me, hopefully get a good box in ninth here. Of course, there's a red shell coming for me, so I have to use my star early. Go ahead and get some more coins here. Try to get one more at least, up to five. And now we're really going to have to hope for a shock as we're in 11th. There's a bill behind us. All the way down in last. Okay, we have the star. Do they have the shock after the bill is the question. I'm going to go ahead and not risk it. Now it looks like they had a star there. This player's going to get hit. Okay, we can still get the double. I thought we might not be able to. And we need something really good here. Oh, I'm going to have to use my bill because they had a crazy eight behind me. There's another star. What's up with all the... Or another uh, red shell. What's up with all the red shells behind me in bottom spots? But this bill... Wait, that's a really good bill. That's going to take me all the way up into fifth, even though I went around the shortcut. And my golden's going to help me not lose any spots. What a crazy comeback. And we're back on Ice Ice Outpost after like literally 10 people loaded random. I think it was like Excite Bike and some other bad tracks. So here we are. I really don't mind this track though, so I can't complain. Yeah, I think that was like a very slight bill extension on Sky Garden. You guys didn't know basically the bill extensions when the bill lasts longer than 8 seconds. And normally it happens on tracks that have like wavy sections where the game doesn't want to drop you off in kind of an awkward spot. And I think because of the position of the glider there, the game didn't want to drop me off, you know, into the glider, over the glider. So it kind of kept going just a little bit longer. And there are kind of two types of bill extensions. Some are longer than others. You know, you have like shorter ones that are 9 or 10 seconds. And you have longer ones that are 10 or sorry, 11 or 12 seconds. I think that one was more like 9 seconds. So more than 8. So it is a bill extension, but not by much. Uh, but it kind of came in handy considering, like I said, I had to go around the shortcut there and help me keep my fifth place. Wow, that was perfect timing. I looked behind me and they backed it and I was somehow able to avoid it. Don't land on the blue shell. Okay, it took the shortcut. I wasn't sure if it was going to take the shortcut, but I was taking there. Unfortunately, we get our mushroom stolen. Let's just get rid of those bananas chain up the set. It not a bad pull. I don't know where the other players that get hit by the blue. I only see one person ahead of me, but I'm in third. Oh, they're actually way up there. Maybe they're in a ghost that I didn't notice. We're going to get our red shell stolen and then get hit by nothing. A little bit unfortunate. But wait, we're still in third. Did the other player get hit off the shortcut? I have no idea what's happening right now. It might just be the lag of the room as well. Uh, but who knows? We're in third. That's all that really matters. We can get a couple more coins here and definitely have to go for the shortcut. Okay, there's a player there. They don't have any items I was worried about. Wait, that's my banana from last lap. I almost messed myself up. But then there's another banana in my line. I actually did not even see that just with the angle of it. Another blue is out, a bullet bill. There's a red shell. Can we get something to block it? We can, but it didn't work. I lost my banana, but I still get hit by the red shell. But we get the shock dodge. So great timing on that. Although I'm so far behind, I don't think I'm really going to be able to pass anyone here. As we're in 8th place, there's a star. Can we at least pass that player? We can, and I will take the 7th. And we're back for the final set of races on one of my favorite combos of all time in this game. Mario standard cart standard tire super glider basically the default combo standard everything and to a lot of people's surprise it's actually very solid it's definitely very viable if you want to use it if you want to mess around and I think it has a mini turbo of four speed of four as well so pretty balanced this is actually probably the most balanced combo in the game if you guys didn't know way back in the day this is actually one of my first videos as well using this combo and was really the video that kind of blew up my channel and set me on the path I am right now. So I definitely have a lot of like nostalgia for this combo as well. And I love coming back to it and using it from time to time. So you guys already know I had to include it in the video. Playing a Wario Stadium, not in a great spot. Zero coins already. Gonna go through the box there. And I guess to kind of clarify that last race, there is a slight delay when you use an item before you can use another one. Um, but also when you get a box, and you know you're trying to block a red shell like i was you don't necessarily have enough time sometimes to use it so basically what happened was that i used my banana at the same moment the red hit me so my banana basically just missed the red and was still used but i still got hit in the process if that makes any sense so yeah just a little bit unfortunate that's what kind of sometimes happens with the online item lag in this game is that you basically don't get your items in time especially when you get chained at the set like that which is why so many players use it it's such a good strategy actually to wait and throw your red shells at the item set to try to catch people off guard when they are chaining, when they don't have an item. Definitely something to consider. And yeah, we're actually in fifth somehow here. I'm going to go ahead and spam all these green shells. They're going to break on each other. And then, oh, I almost smart bounced myself. I somehow didn't. What are my lines I'm throwing? I'm just trying to stay ahead here. I'm really slow with only four coins. But if I can just use these shrooms and get ahead, that's perfect. Although, I'm kind of in a weird spot now because I really need shrooms for the ending shortcut. 
and we're gonna have to use it early because like i said someone chained their red shell at the set can we lag trail this player maybe in the air i don't know if we did no wait that was someone else that passed me but i'm still gonna hold on to a fourth place so not a bad race and we're back on gba mario circuit finally a mario track it's about time and we'll see if we can do a little bit better i think generally this combo is a little bit different for me like i said i've kind of had to take it some time to get warmed up to these combos since normally i use yoshi and although it's not much of a difference definitely is a little bit different and you kind of have to adjust here and there with your driving especially like with shroomless shortcuts and stuff like that uh, but this one feels much different as it does have a whole one mini turbo less than some of the other builds i've been using it does make up for it in speed of course so definitely still viable in my mind but yeah definitely some adjustments i should have seen that coming that, that person was going to swerve for that double box as well and oh no i was going to go for the shroomless cut but then we're going to get started and we almost got started again actually we're going to have to definitely catch up here okay they almost took the box i was going for as well uh, but yeah, we can go ahead and hopefully get some good items, get up to 10 coins. And we're going to miss another box. That person has the shock as well, so maybe we could have got a dodge. But yeah, we're in an awkward spot. They're going to use it now and dodge a couple people, it looked like. Not sure why they didn't kind of wait until the set to chain it. Because uh, I guess they don't have anything in the pocket. Looks like they might have got hit off the track there. But yeah, we're going to need to catch up now. That's a good pull. I only have six coins, like I said. But there probably won't be another shock here. I think we are good to just kind of use all of my power and I'm using my star right away because they're going to use their build in the shortcut. Definitely don't want to get build in the off-road. Yeah, we can see if we can make the comeback here. Oh, we get the gold. That's a really good pull. I can save this for the ending here and it should take me to the finish line if I use it right here in this shortcut. Let's make sure to get a box and just go. I don't know if I'm really going to pass anyone though. We're just going to have to kind of hope for the best. Everyone else gets taken out and yeah, literally like two people got hit. So we get the seventh. And we're back on N64 Rambo, one of the weirdest tracks for sure in my mind in the game as it's kind of random as to what happens kind of like Baby Park. Uh, but it's actually a really good front running track if you can somehow stay alive and get to the front early. That's why I said it's kind of random because of this section right here. Literally anything can happen. You can get bumped off, you can get trailed. And yeah, we're getting spin boosted like crazy. We're somehow alive. I'm just going to go wide to avoid everyone's trails here and hopefully not get hit by anything. But yeah, somehow we're in the top of the pack, the front of the pack. Uh, but we gotta watch out for all these trails. We're getting bumped, gotta watch out for that player spin boost. Okay, they finally get rid of that red shell, but they have another red shell. So we're gonna have to watch out to see what happens there. Okay, they actually got hit. Let's just stay inside here, go for the single. Hopefully not get backed here. Although I'm not really sure why they're back. They probably do have a coin in the pocket. The blue is out. We can go ahead and kind of true map, go really wide so we don't get hit here. Let's go ahead and chain. Oh no, I threw that the wrong way. I actually wanted to throw that backwards and chain at the set. Oh, this player's actually going to pass him with a shroom, maybe. And wait, green shell. That almost hit them. Yeah, somehow we're in the front. They're probably going to back this at the set. They do. Can we get the banana snipe we missed? Ooh, they definitely have protection in the pockets. Maybe we can chain them at the next set, assuming I don't get hit by a shell or something. And maybe they do. We can go ahead and throw our red shell now. Is it going to hit them? Wait, someone had the same idea for me. But we have another red shell. Will this one connect, maybe? And it looks like it will. And we're in first place. Is this really how it's going to end? It will. I feel like I've had a crazy streak on this track recently. And we get another first place. How about one last GBA Mario Circuit to finish the show? This was a random pick. But I feel like we always get repeats in this game. And I'm already failing. And I'm already in fifth. Maybe I should bag. I was going to try to front run, show off my skills. So I have actually been practicing this track a little bit. But at the same time, like I said earlier, I'm using a lower mini turbo build and a lot of the shroomless shortcuts on this track rely on mini turbo. And I feel like that's why I like uh, Mr. Scooty, Yoshi Mr. Scooty so much is because of that fact. You know, you can utilize the high mini turbo stat to really execute a lot of the shroomless shortcuts easily. Yeah, we're just going to take it easy. We're going to go ahead and get up to 10 coins because last time actually I didn't get up to 10, I don't think, even though I was bagging, which is definitely something you do not want to do as coins help you with you know all your power items and help you make the comeback and yeah we can go ahead and get rid of this gold and gotta watch it for that bill wait that did that bill like go backwards i think they tried to take the shortcut but they weren't in the shortcut enough and they just like teleported and also they just like disappeared off the map i'm so confused did they like quit the game what even happened okay let's chain this crazy eight at this set and see what we can get uh that is a very awkward pull but i guess i am in like fifth place here Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Oh, I thought I could back that red shell, but it came in at like a little bit of an angle. 
That's okay though, you know, we want to be a little bit more behind. Oh, we get the boo. Can we get like shrooms or something here? Okay, we get one shroom, I guess I can cut off a little bit of the off-road. I actually just realized too, there's only seven of us in here. Wait, we get another boo? I don't think I've ever pulled back-to-back -back boos like that. What is happening? And then we steal a coin. Yeah, we definitely needed some shrooms there for these shortcuts. I'm in such a terrible spot. There's definitely not going to be a shock. There's only eight of us in here. And wait, I just pulled this shock. I completely jinxed myself, but I'm so far behind that it literally doesn't matter. Like, I can pass the two stragglers in the back, but only get up to sixth place. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.